Hello everybody and welcome to Gene's Reviews, movie reviews from a regular dude. Sometimes I do trailer reactions, movie reviews, just whatever comes to my mind. Maybe even some celebrity news every once in a while. But today I'm going to do a movie review. Okay, this is one that's playing right now. It's streaming on Amazon Prime. And the title of it is Let's Kill Grandpa This Christmas. Okay, this is a 2018 movie and it's directed by a guy named Brian Giancy. Giancy. It's a dark comedy, in my opinion. On the description, it says that it's a comedy horror suspense. I didn't really see much horror in it, but to me, it's just a dark comedy. It centers around this really mousy guy named Carl. He goes into work one morning just to find out that he's been fired. Cut to two months later, and he still hasn't found a job but he hasn't told anyone yet that he was fired from this job. Still pretends to go to work every single day. And uh, then the guy who fired him spills the beans to Carl's friend who's married to Carl's wife's sister. Okay, it gets a little confusing there. That he was fired two months ago. The character of Carl goes on to Craigslist to try to sell his wife's wedding ring because he's basically he needs the money and he ends up getting robbed so stay off craigslist but he ends up getting robbed anyway and uh the character of carl is really really annoying uh maybe he's supposed to be that way but to me he's just like really 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 over the top I just wanted to punch him because he was just so annoying in this movie. He actually acts more like he's mentally handicapped. He has an, another friend, Ray, who is mentally handicapped. And they say it was because he was injured in Afghanistan. And to me, his acting really isn't that bad. It's just the way that the character's written. And uh, he acts more like someone who's been handicapped like that from birth rather than someone who was injured in Afghanistan. It's actually kind of, I'd say it's kind of uh, offensive, to be honest, the way that he acts. he It's the stereotypical mentally handicapped character. But maybe that's how the filmmaker wanted it, but it, to me it just didn't work. The brother brings up to Carl that he's been thinking of euthanizing their grandpa so that they can get their hands on his inheritance, which is about $2.2 million. And the, the grandpa is the typical, cliche, really jerk character. And uh, also, I didn't think his acting was all the greatest either. He's he's kind of the character that you want to die. You want to see him die. And uh, I listen to this podcast all the time called Movie Podcast Weekly. And as they say on that podcast, hilarity ensues. Okay, it probably sounds like I hated this movie. But actually, the story was really, really good. It was really well written. I had a problem with Ray's acting. Uh, I had a problem with the way the many, mentally handicapped character was written. If I was making this movie, I would have changed those two aspects right there. But uh, all in all, I couldn't wait to see where this movie was going to go. I, It was suspenseful, and in the end, I was satisfied with the way that it ended. I recommend it, and I will give it a 7 out of 10. Now, that's probably a little bit high, but considering all the negatives I had on this movie, but I'm going to stick to it because I would watch it again. I give it a 7 out of 10. That's Let's Kill Grandpa This Christmas. So, uh... 
If you've seen it, let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And when you subscribe, tap that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time. Yeah!